Hey beauty queens! So I'm back for my yearly YouTube video. Happy and excited to be here because, you know, lately, lately it's been once a year making an appearance on here. So I'm making my appearance. Hopefully this will, the next time you see me will not be in a year. Promise, okay? I, I'll do at least one more video this year, so yeah. But anyway, I was inspired to do this because yesterday I was actually watching a favorites video and I just loved watching it and I was like, I miss watching these so much. I haven't seen one in a while and she was just showing some really great products that I love too. So I was like, I think I'm also going to make a favorites video tomorrow. Inspired. So here I am. Um, so I'm just going to get right into the products because I have a couple, not too many, but a nice handful of products. Um, so the first one I want to mention is The Dew. So this is the mousse from the company The Dew. And I am obsessed with this product. I have really like, I don't know, I always say I have weird hair. Like my hair texture is really weird. Like on camera, I know on camera and in photos it looks like I have a lot of hair. I don't have a lot of hair. My hair is actually really thin. So I like to create a little bit of frizz in my hair like after a couple days just so it'll look bigger and it looks like I have a lot of hair, but I don't. Um, when I wash my hair and my hair is freshly washed, you could like see right through my hair. So my hair is thin um, and it's really hard for me to find products because I feel like a lot of mousses and gels or whatever, even deep conditioners, weigh down my hair and it kind of just makes my hair look like really way down and crazy so it's really hard for me to find something I love but when I got my last curly cut at We Dodd in New York City she actually used this on me and she was like you should buy this because it'll do a really great job for your texture like you have the perfect texture for this so I was like hmm, okay so I went home bought it started using it and I really started seeing like a difference in my style and the way my curls were looking as opposed to what I was using before so then I fell in love with this. I started buying some other products from their brand as well. I got the deep conditioner and I also bought the heat protectant for when my hair straight. And I love them all, honestly. I'm still using them all. And I feel like every single hair product I've bought the last like five months has been from the Dew. So if you don't have anything from the Dew, please try it because if I could use it and I can make it work and it looks great on me, I promise it'll look good on you. So that's the first um, product I wanted to talk about. And the second product is a brow gel. You guys know I'm big on brows. I always have a brow gel on no matter what. Um, my makeup routine has changed drastically in the last two years. So now on a daily basis, I really only wear brow gel, mascara, and blush lip gloss. Um very different from the bead I have on now which is a full face bead and lots of makeup which I love but I don't wear it on a daily anymore I used to wear my face like this almost daily but I don't anymore so my very few products that I wear on the daily now are very important so I went through so many brow gels um and I think I wish I could remember who I was having the conversation with I feel like I was in a Sephora or an Ulta and the girl said to me, you have such nice brows, what are you using them? And I told her I used the Benefit 24 hour. You guys know, if you watch my other videos, I've worn that for years. Um, and I swore by it and I loved it for different reasons. Um, and then she was like, oh, I really like that one too, but you should try the Rare Beauty one. It's so good, like best one I've tried. And I was like, really? Because um, I've never, honestly, other than her, I've never heard anybody recommend it or rave about it. So I was like, all right, I'll buy it. So I bought it and then ever since I've bought this Rare Beauty Brow Gel, I do not want to use anything else. Like it is just the best. It has the perfect amount of hold and I also feel like it's user friendly. So I know with the 24 hour brow gel people are like, oh this is kind of weird because the brush is a flat brush and it has like the bristles around it. Um, and I feel like a lot of people weren't understanding that, especially if they're not like a professional makeup artist or somebody who's like, you know, I don't know, a little bit more educated on makeup for the average consumer. I think it might have been like a little over their heads and they were like, mm, I don't know, like how to use this and why the brush looks like that. But I really liked it and I feel like this is, this Rare Beauty one is very like user friendly, straightforward, like it's got a little fluffy, um, small, but fluff puff type of 
um, brush. So you just, you know, brush it right through your brow, really easy to use. Um, and I love the hold and it doesn't look too shiny and it doesn't apply too much product on your brow if you're heavy handed like me. So yeah, I just love this one and I'm going to buy another one, but I swear by this one. Like if you don't have the Rare Beauty Brow Gel, buy it. I promise you will not regret it. You will love it. Okay, so third product I want to mention. Um, so you might be a little surprised by this, but I always watch YouTube in the background of like working or whatever I'm doing. So somehow, some way, I got into like a road loop of videos. So a bunch of road beauty videos were playing in the background, and I heard Hailey Bieber raving about her products, about her lip product, her lip treatment, peptide, whatever it is, I forgot the exact name, and the new pineapple refresh, this one. So I was like, you know what? I love trying new products. So I bought the lip peptide and I bought this. And this is different from what I typically use because if you guys watch my other videos, you know I'm really big on an oil-based cleanser from my skin because I have a very dry skin. So it's really hard for me to find something that is foam that I like unless I need like a good strip. Because when you use oil cleansers so much, sometimes you do need a nice face strip. Um but I was a little like, this one does give a foam, but I wanted to try it anyway. So I'm glad I did because I feel like this is gentle enough for me to use. Like, it doesn't strip my face, but gives me a really good clean. Um, and I only need, like, the smallest amount of this, so it's lasting me a long time, which I love. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised at how much I love this, but I absolutely love this. And again, this is the Pineapple Refresh. And I also absolutely love her lip treatment. Honestly, I look for it like every day. I buy so many lip products, so many lip oils. Like that's been my thing lately. Like I was on a lip product kick for a while there. Um, and mascara. But that one I actually like look for. Like I want to buy more so I can put them in my different bags because I'm always looking for it. So if you were like a little bit on the fence, like mm, I don't know, it's an another celebrity brand, the product is actually really good and I love it. So give it a try if you're interested. Maybe I should start with saying that e.l.f. lately is killing it for me. Like e.l.f. is doing it for me. They're, they're amazing and honestly I don't know what took me so long to get on the bandwagon. Like I at least started using them like last year. Um, but this Halo Glow, oh my god amazing for me like it gives me the glow that I love it's super glowy so if you don't like glowy skin you will not like this but if you're dry and always looking for a glow like I am this is so perfect it's got I mean you could kind of see if you're looking at the bottle and you look at it closely you can see that it has shimmer in it you can see that it's very glowy um it's what I'm wearing on my face right now but it gives me like this perfect coverage um, and I'm just obsessed with this. I get so many compliments on this too. Like, I've had like multiple people in one night ask me like, what is on your skin? It looks so good and natural and glowy. And it's the Elf Halo Glow. Honestly, I have this in a couple colors and I'm just like obsessed. If you haven't tried this one, you, you have to try this. It's so good. I wish it didn't take me so long to buy, but so good. And then now I'm also obsessed with their, oh, I forgot to turn my phone. Sorry about that. Um, I'm also obsessed with their blush. They're super affordable, so that's another amazing thing about e.l.f. But I've been using this, like, every day, honestly, over my other blushes. I have all the Rare Beauty ones, and I, I still love them. But it's just this color right now that's, like, doing it for me. Um, and it's super pigmented. Like, guys, you need a drop of this. You do not need a lot of this. You need, like, a drop. And this is Suave Mauve. So good. And I also like this color because I feel like it would look really good on a lot of different skin tones. Love it. So good. I probably mentioned this in a video so long ago. Like, it had to be at least five years ago. But this is a L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. And I'm glad that I fell back in love with this. Because this is recently, it's been going viral on TikTok. And guys, the glow, insane. Um, again, my skin is really dry. So I always need like an extra, an extra hint of the glow because my skin is just so dry. And it always looks so dull if I don't put like an add-on like a glotion or like the dewy halo glow so I have this on as well too so I have this on and I have the elf on on top of it as you can see I am super glowy 
Um, but I just fell back in love with this. Like this is something I've been using every single day. Um, and I wear it without foundation too. So I just wear it by myself, by itself. And it is so, so good. Like you need this period blank. I wanted to talk about this blush too. I am obviously a blush girly. Like I told you, I have like, I wear like five things on a like everyday kind of basis. And I have just bought like so many of those different products, like so many mascaras, so many different blushes, so many different lip products. And this is like super cute. I love a lot of things about this. So this is That's Peachy Glow Play Blush by MAC. And first of all, the texture is really interesting. Like you could kind of see it on camera that it's like, it looks almost like plushy. So it feels that way too. It feels like a powder cream hybrid. So I'm obsessed with this and I love the way it glow goes on. I said glows, I am dead. Um, I love the way that it goes on. It goes on like so smoothly and it just like melts into the skin and melts into the other makeup like this. I don't know how long they've had this but this is, they did that. I hope this is not limited edition. I don't think it is but this blush is everything and I want to get it in more colors like I'm obsessed you need this okay so for my last product this is the last product this is a product that I've also fallen in love with again um as well so it's been some years since I've worn this like maybe like five six years around that range um but this is a super classic product this is a Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base and I feel like as I get older, I am learning to appreciate this product. Um, so it's like a, a face base, right? It's like a primer, moisturizer, two-in-one type of thing. Um, but with my dry skin, I really like how this is super hydrating. And it's almost like, I don't want to say tacky. Because I feel like if I use that word, you guys are going to think like, oh, it's sticky. It's not sticky. But it just gives a really nice texture to like mesh with whatever other makeup you're wearing so like I told you on a daily basis I really only wear blush and the glotion so I don't always wear the glotion honestly like usually it's just a blush and I like raw dog it like a blush on top of nothing like no like to demoisturize or nothing like just the blush so because my skin is dry sometimes it gets like a little bit patchy because my skin is dry but if I put this on before it, it just helps it to go on like really seamlessly and just works so good. Again, I don't want to say tacky, but it's just like the perfect texture and base to keep your makeup on throughout the day. And I like that the actual product lasts throughout the day. Like a lot of my um, moisturizers or like primers or whatever it is, they don't last throughout the day. Like in five hours, I don't look dewy anymore. And I don't look shiny anymore, which I want to look because my skin is so dry. So products that can make me look glowy throughout the day are important to me. And she's one of them. So if you don't have this, definitely buy this. It's a classic product. Like, can't go wrong with this. It's, it's so good. So yeah, guys, that is the end of my little video. I hope you enjoy my latest favorites video. But yeah, um... Hopefully I'll be back soon. I try my best to keep up because um, there are just way too many platforms nowadays. Like between TikTok, Instagram, this, and then I'm forgetting a platform. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But if you don't follow me on there, please follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. So, yeah.